<laughs> but to everybody who, especially the ones who look like me and the, the, the men who look like me, who quit the, ah, uh, she, yeah, she Kamala want my vote. She need to explain herself. Stop asking the motherfucking black woman to explain herself to you or explain herself to y'all. If y'all ain't willing to ask a motherfucking white man, y'all cool with the white man not explaining his self, his motherfucking self to you. Go to the motherfucking black She need to explain herself to me what she gonna do for the black community. You ain't motherfucking asking the white man to explain his motherfucking self. You too motherfucking scared to ask him. Well, she, she been in the office already three and a half years. Why, why she ain't do all the things she said she was gonna do? Cause she ain't the motherfucking president. When you go to the motherfucking mic, no. That lady that's the motherfucking manager. She don't get to do what the fuck she want to do. She might can give you some motherfucking fries, but that's about it. She can't change the price of that motherfucking quarter pound up, though. Oh, that motherfucking Big Mike. This is why we should not listen to these celebrities, man. These celebrities like Plies and Steve Harvey and while they might have great inspirational stories, you should not listen to them about politics, man. You should do your own research and salute to the brother town biz. I watched his video, man, Plies. You over here talking about we shouldn't question her, but we ain't, we scared to not question you don't question a white man which there's a little truth to that but here's the thing man that old negro shaming shaming days them days is over you know it's just like when something go wrong and, and a lot of most black people be like just pray about it just pray about it uh and it could be something super tragic somebody then screwed you over god go ahead and do this it's the same thing with that we tired of it what's wrong with questioning what people are doing for you now and, it, and it's funny right somebody like him who went to i believe university of central florida and got a degree in nursing and was valid victorian at his high school could get on line and talk babble talk talking to us like how we talk to our uh one-year-old daughters and sons you know <laughs> that's how we be acting man and this, this this is why a lot of us are waking up listen a lot of y'all parents or grandparents are baby boomers my father was a baby boomer and he used to say stuff like man you just vote democrat why no why we can't ask for stuff everybody else gets stuff every other culture gets stuff but when we ask for something they pretty much telling us to shut up and vote and we talk i'm not doing it not, a lot of y'all not doing it and it's embarrassing and another thing people don't realize man this, because social media has gotten so big now people you see the complete foolery at its finest you got steve harvey over there talking about some oh, well you gotta vote but you know, uh, you need to vote for her now. Maybe we'll get stuff in the future because they'll see how many people voted and they can give us resources. Man, damn that. We don't want that shit no more. We don't want trinkets. Ricky Smiley talking about some, uh, because their commas in the divine nine and the judges in the divine nine and Martin Luther King day. Don't nobody care about them trinkets no more. We want real laws. We want real funding. What are y'all going to do for our school systems? What are y'all going to do to put jobs in our, in our neighborhoods? What are y'all going to do to get, actually give us funding for black business don't give us funding for everybody and then we're the ones who don't get it no why we can't get specific black agendas i i, I want to understand that but you want our vote you want the quavos and the mega stallions to go up there and shake her butt but then when we ask for something oh no no whoa 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 negro who told you to ask for something but plies man back to him i digress back to plies plies is what's wrong with us as people this man, like I said, is degreed up and, a, and a, a pretty hard degree to get. And instead of you leading with that, what was you doing growing up, man? You was leading with your pants sagging, with you talking that old, you know, uh, ignorant Negro talk, you know, and uh, you were everything that shouldn't have been an example. You were an actor, an actor so bad that even Jamie Foxx said, man, when I met Plies, I thought he would be like, man, goon this and goon that. And he was up there talking like, like more professional than Jamie Foxx because man these are paid actors man you know what i'm saying plies got paid by the record labels to act and that's what he did so man stop believing him and i, I now i understand why michael jordan stayed out of politics man my my and malcolm x warned this years ago don't listen to these negro celebrities man these are paid people they are paid by these people campaigns to go and speak and rally behind them and for my people man don't let these negroes who ain't never read a history book make you feel bad about asking for what you want for a vote anybody else has done that and any other culture or race of people have came to america asked for votes and got things levied in their favor and this is a historical thing that you can go look up and it take five minutes but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think